Hey everyone, uh, today I'm going to do just an uh, unboxing of this hot air rework station that I just got. Uh, I, I've already used it uh, and I was pretty happy with the results. I just wanted to show what I got, uh, what came in this package and how it worked for me. So this is the, the company that sells it, uh, YIHUA, I don't know how to pronounce it. This uh, rework station is model 8786D. And it's called a two-in-one because it has the hot air and a soldering iron. Um, so I'll show you some of the accessories. Uh, I came with a, a set of four different nozzles. They vary in size, so you can direct the air to the components that you're trying to get. So there's this one. Uh, it's pretty small. That, that gets over a very small area and then there's the up to this one pretty large the project i used this on was uh, removing a hdmi port from a playstation 3. the uh, ground plane was absorbing too much heat and i couldn't get it out with like a soldering iron uh, usually i use a soldering iron and some solder wick to absorb the solder and then i can get the component out but in this case the soldering iron wasn't able to provide enough heat to reactivate the solder so I got this station, I've been wanting one, but that, that gave me um, a real reason to get one. There's one thing that came with it. Uh, so it came with a couple of options to absorb the solder. So there's, there's this one, it's a desoldering pump. The way this works is it's got a plunger here that you depress and then you heat up the, the solder and then you put this right next to it and you push this button and it sucks it up into this chamber. I've never had great luck with these. There is some really nice like professional ones that look like they work really well but this one I never had much luck. I ended up melting the tip but that's one way you can get the solder out. It came with that which is nice and it also came with solder wick. So this is just a braided a copper ribbon. So yeah, it's like a braided ribbon. When you heat up the solder, it flows into here. That, that I've had lots of luck with. So it's nice that it's included. What else is in here? Another thing that came with is lead-free solder. The 0.8 millimeters. It's nice and thin. I actually don't have any of that thin. It allows you to control how much solder goes out. So they came with that. And for the soldering iron, there are several tips. And so it ranges from uh, very, very sharp tip to nice chisels and just a wide variety of tips. And I'll show you how they go on. It's really nice. So um, those are really nice to have. I've, I've been using the same sort of chisel tip for a while. I never had good luck with the sharp tips because there's not enough surface area, but it's neat that they're included. So there's the tips for the siren. Let's get into the main stuff here. The uh, rework station itself. This is where you put the hot air. It comes with a stand for the soldering iron little sponge so that you put water in that and then you can wipe off soldering iron. So this is the soldering iron. Comes, comes with a, another tip and a nice cover. This is the tip I was I used. Kind of neat so it's like flat here but it has a kind of sharper tip so you can get certain a lot of heat transfer, but also some pinpoint accuracy. Take the tip out, you unscrew this, that comes out, and then this comes off. So this part heats up. And uh, I was able to change out the tips without too much issue when it was still kind of hot. I was able just to get that there and then let it fall off, and then I could 
flip on the pieces. So that's nice there. Um, as a, uh, I don't know what these are called, D-terminal maybe. Uh, it goes there, screws in. There, it's designed so you can't put this one in here into the hot air side and the hot air side can't go in there. So that's the soldering iron. The cable's nice and loose. It feels like it's probably silicon, so it won't melt and it doesn't fight you when you're using it. So that's really nice. Uh, I'm very impressed with this kit. I think it was only 60 or $70 and uh, it works very well. So, so far. So this is the hot air, uh, plug it in here. Uh, the ni kind of nice thing is when you set it on here, it senses it and then cools off some. And then when you pick it up, it'll heat up again. It heats up very quickly too. And let me just show you how you put the tip on. All right, so you got this, um, slides on there, and then you just tighten it up so it doesn't fall off. It's pretty good. So yeah, that's, then it just fits in there and you screw it in. Airflow here too, so you can turn the fan up or down. And then if you want it to not heat up anymore, you push this button and it'll just blow cold air and cool off the gun. Uh, I use that so uh, if I needed to change this tip, I'd blow cold air through it until it could cool off enough I could get the tip off. They go up to both the soldering iron and the hot air gun and go up to 800 and like 86 or something like that. Not quite to 900 uh, degrees. Um, they heat up pretty fast. Um, yeah, I'm pretty happy with this. I was able to get the HDMI poured off with it. Uh, worked well and I'm very happy with it. Um, I can't say how long it'll last. It feels actually pretty high quality. Um, but yeah, I will, time will tell how it lasts. But first impressions are very good. Um, it's got a lot of things for that money. So yeah, this is the this is the hot air work free workstation I got. Uh, thanks for checking this out, and if anything changes, I'll update this this uh, review and let everyone know how how it's going. So thanks for watching, and I'll talk to you later.